Hey everybody, Rob D'Alessio, Taste of Retirement. Today what we're doing is jalapeno poppers, but Taste of Retirement style, we've gotta twist it. So what we're doing is we're gonna wrap jalapenos with bacon, have some cream cheese, and of course duck, because it's absolutely delicious. Come on, let me show you how we do it. Jalapeno poppers. I mean, who doesn't love a popper, right? You go to the sports bars, you go to different restaurants and they've all got some kind of popper. Of course, here at Taste of Retirement, we've got to twist it up and we're gonna do some duck jalapeno poppers wrapped in bacon with a nice hoisin sauce. It's football season, right? Why not throw some of these together? They're super simple and they're absolutely delicious. So what we're gonna do, we've got some duck breasts and I went ahead and I took the skin off of the duck breast and I sliced them thinly and some, some decent length on them, right? And duck is just so good. It's one of my favorite proteins. Um, we've got some thick cut bacon. Now you don't wanna buy the thickest cut bacon there is, it'll be hard to wrap, but just a nice bacon. And bacon, honestly, bacon's like wine, right? You gotta buy a good brand or a good one that you believe in and it'll, and it'll be great. Of course, I temper the bacon in the oven at about 325 degrees for about 10 minutes. Otherwise the bacon might be too thick and it won't fully cook. I uh, got some cream cheese that I cook, uh, cut into long skinny blocks like this and then some nice sized jalapenos. Obviously the bigger the jalapeno, the bigger the popper. And I went ahead and seeded those. And what you do there is you just cut the end off and then you cut in length or cut in half lengthwise. And then you take a spoon and you just scoop out the insides, just like that, super easy. Now, I'm gonna warn you, make sure you wash your hands before touching your face or you're gonna be on fire. All right, so we've got all those ready. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take a piece of uh, cream cheese and that's gonna go in the jalapeno first. And I like to smush it in there pretty good so it's, it's getting in all the little crevices in the, in the uh, jalapeno. Then we take the duck and then what we do is we take the bacon and we wrap it around. And don't worry, as the bacon starts to cook, it'll really firm up on that. And then you just place that in. You could use toothpicks to hold it in place. I don't really like to do that um, because then you gotta take them out later. Maybe somebody eats them, it's terrible. Okay, so we've got all of them wrapped up and I, what I did is I tried to tuck the bacon underneath and I did half upside down and half right side up. We're gonna bake them at 400 for about 15 minutes or so, uh, give or take, you know, it depends on really the bacon. Uh, the duck, thankfully, you know, you can cook that to temperature like steak, so it, it really doesn't matter at that point. Um, do know that some of the cream cheese is gonna kind of ooze out and that's okay. There's plenty of e cream cheese in each one. So um, we are gonna flip them over halfway through as well, okay? So here we go, 400 degrees, 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been about eight minutes. Let's take a look, see what they look like. They look ridiculously happy, absolutely delicious. We're just gonna flip them over. That way we get that even browning. And then at the end of the 15 minutes, if you wanna get some char on them, you just throw the broiler on for a couple minutes. Okay, so we baked them off for 15 minutes, we flipped them halfway through. Then at the end, I put the broiler on and I put the broiler over them just for about five minutes just to get a little extra color. Took them out, plated them up, and then I took some hoisin sauce and drizzled it. You could do something else like barbecue sauce if you want, but I like that Asian flair to it and I think duck and hoisin go very, very well. Uh, and so we just drizzled it on there. You could do it more or less or have some on the side as a dip, whatever you wanna do. It's very versatile, but it's awesome. And there you have it, jalapeno duck poppers. We took a jalapeno popper, we twisted it just like we always do here at Taste of Retirement. Now, if you like what you saw today, go ahead and click the button, like and subscribe. You'll see amazing content just like this one. I'm Rob D'Alessio, and this was a Taste of Retirement.